We're here at the International Conference in Vienna, AIDS 2010, and we're here with Francois Barry Sanus of the Pas Institute Pasteur, and you're also involved with the IS very deeply, and uh, we had a, a press conference the other day on Towards a Cure, and you are very much interested in stimulating activity in that area and generating more research. Can you tell us about some of that energy that you're giving to that field? First of all, uh, you know that the priority for HIV AIDS research today is treatment and prevention, of mm -hmm. course, and mm -hmm. they are really integrated together mm -hmm. now. Prevention, when you speak about prevention, of course, we heard about new data regarding microbicide, but uh, there is a, a lot of work done, research done on vaccine research. And there is a consortium, uh, an alliance, international alliance uh, for research and vaccine. Mm -hmm. There is not the same alliance or consortium regarding research on, let's say, the cure. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I thought that we should try to stimulate uh, the same organization to promote research on new strategic ter therapy for, for the future. Mm -hmm. uh, that means to try to have a strategy to get a cure. Or I don't like to say cure. Yeah, I prefer myself to say remission yeah. or functional cure, as right. Tony That's Fauci yeah. is saying. Right. Yeah, exactly. uh, that means that we need to have new therapy that will be able to reduce uh, the, uh, the reservoir in the body mm -hmm. uh, in order to have a treatment that uh, can be stopped, mm -hmm. right. so less expensive. Mm -hmm. Also a better quality of life, and that is very important for mm -hmm. me, better quality of life for patients, mm -hmm. and also a new approach for prevention, because if you uh, reduce uh, uh, of course, the viral load, but at the same time also the reservoir. Mm -hmm. The people will not transmit to others. So mm -hmm. it's, it's an approach that uh, uh, may lead to a new therapy, uh, helpful for both treatment and mm -hmm. prevention. And uh, up to now, of course, there is research done on that field by several uh, teams uh, everywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, but it's only recently that you have specific call on this topic, mm -hmm. call for mm -hmm. grant application. Uh, so I thought it was a good time today mm -hmm. to try to stimulate, of course, this kind of research, but also to try to stimulate coordination and cooperation mm -hmm. uh, between researchers interested by the, this direction of research. Mm -hmm. So that was the idea uh, of, uh, of the workshops that we organized uh, before the AIDS conference with some overlapping uh, with the conference itself. The idea also was to bring back scientists to uh, the International AIDS Conference mm -hmm. uh, through the organization of a workshop before the conference and still basic science area uh, and also to have a, a workshop with basic scientists junior senior together right yes from the north and from the south mm -hmm. from the rich country and from the limited resources uh, mm -hmm. country and to have also we invite uh, uh, communities representative of patients mm -hmm. Uh, because they have to be aware about the research that uh, mm -hmm. uh, is going on and, and the future direction of research, because at one point, of course, it will be uh, new therapeutic trials. Mm -hmm. uh, still, there is some in that area uh, mm -hmm. ongoing, uh, and we will need, of course, to work with the patients themselves. Mm -hmm. And so if we want to work with the patients themselves, they have to understand right. what the scientists are doing. Exactly. 
So is there any other area that, uh, that you feel needs more attention uh, since you've made this effort in this direction? Uh, uh, certainly, I mean, uh, ev all research and transmission are very important uh, mm -hmm. as well. But it was also a workshop uh, before mm -hmm. the conference and transmission. Right. It's another area which is very, very much very important mm -hmm. uh, for both treatment and prevention as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, everything is overlapping. It is. It, it's, it's grown together. Uh, exactly. Yeah. You yeah. cannot separate anymore, and yeah. you wish should not separate yeah. anymore. Exactly. It, it's a good thing. It's yeah. a good thing. Uh, but it does bring a lot of people to do cross training and cross connecting. It, Exactly, from, from and, and that is fields. a good yeah. place for that. I mean, yeah. the AIDS That's conference, what we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's really the best place, pl yeah. place for that. Yeah. Of course, for, for us, it will be a follow-up of, of what we started here. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the presentation and the abstract will be uh, online. Uh, mm -hmm. They will be published in the journal of uh, IAS, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we will certainly... Uh, open a new website uh, for uh, you know the people that were uh, here at the workshop on uh, cure of it kind of follow up and can, can, yeah. can follow mm -hmm. up and, mm -hmm. and can have the possibility to exchange on uh, on the website and mm -hmm. also I have a meeting this afternoon mm -hmm. where we uh, will discuss the follow up of the workshop how, whether we will organize a new workshop uh, uh, in, at, uh, at one IES conference in the future, or if we can organize, stimulate a uh, think tank uh, mm -hmm. uh, at uh, other conferences. Uh, it's this kind of discussion that we will have mm -hmm. this afternoon. Because people ask, I mean, uh, they ask yeah. me after the workshop, uh, what about the follow up now? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say. Is uh, do you find that there's this uh, a more uh, full sense of, of uh, collegial collaboration these days compared to the old days? I mean, there seems to have always been in basic science that sense, but I think there's pro more proprietary issues as the products or, or devices get more fully developed. But do you find that to be more so the case today? Maybe yes. Maybe uh, more today than a few years ago. Probably for different reasons, in my opinion, at the very beginning of HIV uh, research uh, uh, in the early 80s, mm -hmm. uh, it, it was really a, a strong collaboration between clinician, uh, mm -hmm. uh, scientists, even basic scientists, and uh, also because it was critical to do because so because it yeah. was an emergency mm -hmm. because everybody uh, needed to have scientific evidences, scientific data. Mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to get uh, from where we have been, <laughs> mm -hmm. the, yeah. uh, diagnosis test uh, and uh, antiretroviral treatment. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and since uh, we had uh, the antiretroviral treatment, and since it had been shown to be very efficient uh, with mm -hmm. a wonderful decrease of mortality, uh, so it was a kind of separation between uh, uh, the basic scientists and uh, uh, clinician and communities mm -hmm. uh, because of uh, the wonderful news that the treatment was working. Mm -hmm. Now it seems to me that uh, uh, we are going back mm -hmm. uh, to science again, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. both in the field of uh, vaccine, as you know. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go back to basic science that was mm -hmm. said after the STEP trial. And I feel the same for also the treatment today. Yeah. I feel the same for the treatment today, probably because, first of all, uh, unfortunately, there is a small proportion, but a proportion of patients that are on art, long-term art, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and are, have de are developing complications, mm -hmm. like cancer, like uh, uh, aging symptoms, uh, mm -hmm. and, and so on. So uh, the clinician and the community say, oh, we need, uh, we need something else. Mm -hmm. And the something mm -hmm. else will come from science, OK? Right. So uh, it's uh, probably one reason why we, we are going back also mm -hmm. uh, to science uh, regarding the, the treatment issue. And, and, and novel therapies. And are novel along. therapy yeah, for yeah. the future. Uh, it's been always a pleasure to meet with you and to visit and to talk about what you s the way you see it through your glasses. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very much. Uh -huh.